Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to develop ladder logic from Boolean expression. So let's look at the example first. Example 17. Y is equal to A B naught C plus D naught plus A. So we will start with the first one. For A, B, C, D and E, we will use normally open contacts and normally closed contacts. So for B and D, we will use normally closed contacts and for A, C and E, we will use normally open contacts. So A, B, C will be connected in series and then D in parallel and also A in parallel. So there A, B and C, there will be R logic gate and then there will be two or logic gates. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder logic for this Boolean expression. So this is the interface of TI portal. I will click on this arrow and then go to PLC tags and default tag table. So here we need to add inputs and outputs. So we have five inputs say A, B, C, D, E and F, not F. So A, B, C, D and E, we have five inputs and then we have one output that is Y. So here it will be Q, Q 0.0. .0. And then I will minimize this uh, PLC tag table and then I will go to program blocks and then main OB. So here we will be drawing ladder diagram. So let's zoom in. And then I will insert a normally open contact for A. And then I will insert a normally closed contact for B. And then I will insert a normally open contact for C. So I will write A. Then this normally closed contact will be, it will represent B naught. And then this normally open contact will be C as normally open contact. And then we have to implement all logic gates. So we have to add D as normally closed contact in parallel. So I will open the branch, add normally closed contact for D, and then I will connect it like this. And then we have to connect E in parallel. We have to implement one more logic gate. So I will open the branch here add normally open contact and then it will be E and then I will connect it like this. So there will be output for that I will use a coil, a simple coil and it will be Y. So for output Y to be on, Either A and C should be on and B should be off or D should be off or E should be on. So in the starting when D is off Y will be on and then if D is on Y will be off. So to turn on Y either we need to turn on A and C and key B off or instead of A, B and C we will use the input E that should be turned on and as a result Y will be turned on. So I will start the simulator and then I will start CPU. Okay and start monitoring. And then we need to switch to uh, switch to project view. I will create a new project for this and let's wait for some time.
and then I will go to simulation tables and simulation table 1. And then I will right click here and load project tax. So now we can start the simulation. So as you can see here in the starting, the output Y is true because of this D. So as I will turn it on, I will turn on D, the output Y will turn off. So now we can use A, C or E. So when I turn on A, Y remains off. And then when I turn on C, Y turns on. And then when I turn on B as well, the output Y becomes off. So when A and C are on, B should be off. So instead of A and C, I can simply use input A. So when I turn on input A, the output Y becomes on. So let's move to another example. Y is equal to A0 plus B0 into C plus DE. So for input A and B, we will use normally closed contact and those two normally closed contact will be connected in parallel. And then we will use normally open contacts for C that will be connected in series with A0 plus B0 and then there will be another all logic gate for D and E but D and E will be connected in series but it will be connected in parallel with A plus B into C. So let's move to TI port. So here I will insert normally close contact for A and then one more normally close contact but in parallel with this normally close contact. I will open the branch, insert a normally close contact and close the branch. So it will be A and then this normally close contact will be B. And then there will be a normally open contact for C and that will be connected in series with this A0 plus B0. And then there will be one more or logic gate here so here I will open the branch and then I will connect normally open contacts and one more normally open contact for D and E. So it will be D and then it will be E. And then I will connect it like this. And then there will be output for that I will insert a coil and it will be for Y, the output Y. So here for output Y to be on either a should be on, sorry, A should be off. So either A or B should be off and C should be on. And, and there is one more thing by which Y can be controlled. So we need to put a D and E on, then also output Y to be on. So we can use A, B and C to control the output Y or we can use D and E to control the output Y. So the first thing is A or B should be off, one of the two inputs should be off and C should be on or we can simply use D and E, we will turn on these both and then also Y will be on. So I will start the simulator. After that, I will start CPU and then I will start monitoring and then I will switch to project view. After that, I will create a new project. So I will click on simulation tables and simulation table 1. So here I will right click here and load project tags. So all the uh, tags are being loaded here. So for now,
So when I turn on A, B should be off, and with that C should be on, then only output Y will be on. And then if B is on, both these inputs are on, and C is also on, then the output Y will be off. So either of the two switches should be off. So either A is off, output Y will be on, or instead of A, B is off, then output Y will be on. So if both are off, then also output Y will be off. But when C is also off, output Y will be on, either A and B both are on, but output Y will still be off. So instead of using A, B and C, we can use simply D and E. When both these inputs are true, the output Y becomes true. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.